Welcome back to Patfoot TD Games. My name is Zach. I am the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in Truck Mechanic Simulator. Now it's been a long time since we've been back in it, just because some of the gameplay is over and over. But I wanted a fun little game this morning, just to be able to get back into fixing big rigs. You know? Yes, I know it's a little unrealistic, but it's still fun. I don't care what anybody says. It's still definitely fun. Let's see. What's wrong with this one? Use the OBD scanner. Replace broken parts. Well, last time I know it, we did it just because. We could, <laughs> but I obviously don't remember the outcome. That was um, at least a month ago. Let's open it up. Let's climb on in. <clears throat> OBD link. Let's see. ECU system initiating. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay. Now, do I have a spot where I can read them out? Let's see. All right, well, we got them. That's good, I guess. Air order. Hmm. Computer, maybe? Book of learning, tools in the shop. Hmm. I'm gonna get this just because that takes forever. Power parts store, yeah, books on learning, loan. Nothing up here does anything. The OBD reader doesn't tell me. Well, right, let's take a little journey around the shop and let's find out if there's something that can tell us. Your circuit breaker. You never leave tools on the ground. Okay, nothing here. Path test, we don't need to do a path test. That's just the radio, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> and this is the computer we're already at. I mean... Whoa. That's weird. Just had me click out of game, sorry about that. Let's just repair truck parts. This. All right, I guess try the OBD reader again. Let's see if I just miss something. really quick and see what the internet has to say.
All right, I know that there's audio missing there. I just forgot to turn it back on. Didn't miss much, just double checking, fixing a couple things. So I apologize for that. How many glow plugs, first off? Six, six glow plugs and the glow plug wire, got it. Oh my goodness, two, three, four, five, six. Oop, nope, only six. There's that. All right, let's see if this is enough. All right, let's put the head back on first. Ignore the husky walking around the office. All right, now the long, tedious process of popping these back in. This would definitely be his problem, but you know, they wanted me to use the OBD radio for the first time, but it's like, if you're not gonna tell me exactly what to do after I get the data, there's no point for me to actually use it. Which is why everybody likes car simulators so much better. Are you gonna let me finish this job? Did that? Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, let's pop that back down. Oh, well, actually, nope, 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 we're missing a part. Oh my gosh, you took forever. Duh. They would've been really mad if they got their truck back without the air filter. <laughs> let me make sure I don't have anything else that I shouldn't have of theirs. Sell, sell, sell. No need a quick key. I gotta do this all by hand. Here we go. You can close that now. Now that I've remembered to put all the pieces back. And we'll finish out that order. Yep. Fantastic. Let's. Okay. Something American? No, of course not. Eliminate the problem. There is something strange happening recently. Something is hissing during cranking up, and I think the truck works louder. Can you take and check what's going on? Um, I can. Let's raise it up and see what the exhaust looks like really quick. It sounds like... Hissing sounds like a turbo issue, but I know very little about vehicles. Muffler looks like it's in fine shape. Let's Condition unknown. Yeah, everything looks fine. All right, let's drop it down. Let's take a look. Without being crushed. Let's see. Always want to check the air filter. That's just that's just a neat thing. Hmm. Okay. Can't check that for some reason. 75, all right. We might be starting near a problem. 75. 80. Okay. I love that there's just certain things you can't check, like that. No, it definitely would be oil pump related. Seventy eight. Eighty. Oh, I wasn't even meant to click on that. I was going to go for the exhaust uh, for the uh, turbo compressor, but there's our culprit, I guess. It's the beginning of it. Let's see. Take out. It's all gonna have to come out first. Okay, well. It's gonna be a much more labor intensive job than what was anticipated. <laughs> Let's get those off. That off. Really? Okay, I gotta go through it all. Take the air filter box out. Connecting hose. Yeah, I know. You want this out, which means 
I have part the whole exhaust. All right, well, send that up. Cab will automatically close. Let's get in here and start taking apart this. This is a bummer. I might go this much. The bill he's gonna be getting. It's just gonna be huge. I think how that wasn't attached to the frame or anything. It's just attached to the pipe. That should hang on, right? Yeah, boom, boom, and take that off. Okay, cool. Step on out. Get on down. You see, this is why I want a uh, car mechanic simulator. There's just so much more detail that can go into it than just like, oh, take this off, this off, this off. That's something down the road, though. That, uh, yeah, good, good, good. While that's there, let's, let's go back to examining really quick. I didn't look at that. It's fine. I assume this is going to be it. This side was okay. We'll just let the client know that, you know, that's possible. I wish you could kind of call and be like, do you want us to really soup it up? Because just replace the other side. All right, let's take a look at our inventory here. Everything's fine. Pretty much everything except the exhaust manifold that's um, right side. I don't think it really matters what side it's on, though. Bucks. How much are you paying us for this job? Five fifty. Only two hundred dollars in labor. Hell, I ain't putting your muffler back on for that price. <laughs> All right, let's reassemble mode. Put that new exhaust manifold in there. Put the turbo in there. We'll do the exhaust last. Yeah, pop that back on. Pop that back on. Going out to the air filter. Just drop that in. Cover. And you're going to make this get underneath for the rest. All right. Send this up. attention where we are. Here, fit. There we go. Collection pipe. Exhaust pipe. Okay, muffler. European, of course. Is that? Is that all the pieces? Sell that. The only thing that you can find wrong with this, of course it is. All right, let's head on to the next order. That's awesome. That one was quick and easy. Another European truck. Come on. Check the rear suspension, replace broken parts. I had very heavy load to convey yesterday, and it is possible that something is broken. Could you check? Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to get a picture just in case we're, we're not, don't have time to do another one. Let's check the back suspension. It's a little bit faster. Could definitely be more faster though. I'm gonna step off really quick. How much is that upgrade? So we have like no money. Alright, let's see. Let's shock, but I think. Yeah, the leaf spring looks fine. 
All right, well, we'll completely take it apart and just see if there's anything else that might be bad. Much faster, much nicer. Is that. All right, that's down to its bare bones. check everything in here. The leaf springs need to be fixed. That's the air ride system. That's bizarre. Then you say this, and then... Uh, oh, I've got to be underneath the truck for that. All right, well, we'll see if any of this is broken first before we lift it up. <clears throat> Let's work our way around. I wish taking off a lug nut was this fast. I'll tell you that much. shock absorber how much money did you give us so i know 1300 yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath and we're going to take this springs off uh the leaf springs off actually not sure what they're called on a big rig Let's take these off this camera angles killing me off, bring it back down. Okay, let's pop back in here. Gonna be an extensive put back together. Yeah, that's the spring looks like it's in bad shape. This is the air container, these are the air springs. I'm gonna assume. Okay. Let's see, so rear shock. So just the the two rear shocks. Well, you know, I wasn't sure. I'd rather make sure we do our due diligence here. Whoa. I don't I don't understand that. It keeps making me click out of the game. Even though my cursor's not even close to this, but whatever. Okay, let's go in here. Wrong key, there we go. Car parts, let's grab two rears. Oop, that's spark plug. It looked like it, okay. That's the front, that's the rear. One, two, perfect. All right, let's start with this side. Let's go back into place back mode. Well, let's start with this, because we're not going to need that. Yeah. Put those there, and we'll go underneath later, and... You know, that's not how that would work happen. There you go. There you go. That's everything on this side. I can't do that until we're underneath. Let's put back together the tire, at least. 
those heads there for all apart. There we go. Put in the axle. Build a semi. Beautiful. Very satisfying. <laughs> Brake drum. It's fine. You actually won't put up until I do the piece underneath. Interesting. Alright, let's put this bad boy back together. I've heard bushing and bushel. Right. Bushel sounds like flowers to me. There we go, happily. Really wish you'd stop zooming out. Zoom back. There we go. No? Okay, I don't want to be in the drive shaft or the airbag. Seventy-nine percent. Well, you know, obviously we couldn't really scan this. There's no visible wear. Yeah, you know how much easier it'd be if you had a scanning tool. If you could just be like, "Yeah, this is breaking." All right, let's get back underneath. Switching their sides for no particular reason. Yeah, definitely hit something hard. All right, we're just gonna put on the last two tires and then that's it. Come on. Always, the trucks that come in are just beautifully taken care of. Magically. Is that it? No, of course not. Else is at a tolerable level. Can't inspect that. I can expect this. I mean, these are seventy six percent. Usually, it needs to be much lower than that. I wouldn't care about the air container. We've done the suspension. Is this apart? No. What else is wrong with it? It's gonna be one of those programs just tear the whole entire thing apart. So we checked everything back there. I'm just rethinking to myself. Did we check everything? Everything we did. Back here. Put your truck up on blocks, dude. Checked yet. Everything else has been taken care of. Air containers look fine. To the other side.
Okay, now the, the truck is completely up on blocks. One of the air springs. Two of the air springs. That was the issue. Okay, so it was in the rear. Let's go buy them. Let's put it all back together. And that's definitely where we're going to end this episode. because we already did that. Hub. Secure that. Send the XL. That. Break drum. Tire. Always just assume that those were just for trailer and riding purposes. Not exactly what I could have thought when I thought of suspension. So we've learned something. So I had no idea that the airbags in the back would do anything for the suspension. Uh, I always thought that was just for lifting and getting up the trailer. It makes sense now. So we've learned. Uh, just frustrated all the work that we had to put in. Let's call this order done. Yes, get your truck out of my shop. Let's take a peek at what next episode's trucks for us first. Check out the front suspension from the left side, replace the right. I whipped out from the curve and hit the left wheel in the curb. Okay. <laughs> I have problems with my truck since then. See what's broken. I mean, we can. Beautiful truck, though. But that's going to be for another episode. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you like what you saw, we're on Twitch at Padfoot TD, and we are on YouTube at Padfoot TD Space Games. If you want to see some really cute puppies and see what we do from a day to day, you can go out to Instagram at Padfoot TD Games. I uh, hope you guys had some fun. I had some fun doing this. This was a good game. It, it's it's simple, but it's kind of relaxing to just sit down and do it. But I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.